motherfucking deal, YouTube. It's your boy, Nazari. <clears throat> Please comment, like, and subscribe on this video. I thank you guys for supporting the channel. I thank you guys for always uh uh commenting, <clears throat> liking, and subscribe. Sub up to Dante Sports Talk live streams. Um, appreciate all the love and the support. I'm very very getting. I thank you for all the love, man. Y'all keep subscribing, keep liking, keep live, keep uh tuning into the live streams when I play 2K and uh you know when I uh do uh do live stream when I do live streams on live commentary. Thank you guys. <laughs> Shout out to Miss Kim. Shout out to the dude that commented down against the Raiders. I just made my Chiefs. Uh, Justin Houston uh, release video. Y'all give me your thoughts on that. Uh, uh, let's get right into the video. Shout out to the Run Boys, man. My boy Lil RG. Shout out to the Run Boys. Let's help those guys uh, get number one so they can start interviewing those rookies, man, on, on rookie days and stuff like that. Uh, so thank you, guys. Let's get right into the video. <laughs> Saturday night, the Boston Celtics defeat uh, the L.A. Lakers, uh, 120-107. to <clears throat> Boston uh, coming in fifth in the Eastern Conference, like I say. Uh, the Lakers are struggling. I got <coughs> Not bad, y'all. Like I say, <coughs> Rob Palenka uh, and stuff, and Magic Johnson, they got to get some huge <coughs> job done in the front office. Like I said, I know I'm confident. I got a little bit of cold job. Appreciate it. But bear with me on this. Uh, like I said, they Lakers got great young talent, man. Like I said, I thought the team was pretty much divided because the trade Anthony da Dre Anthony Davis trade talks came out publicly and stuff like that, and Magic Johnson and Rob Pelinka put it out there, <coughs> and that divided the team pretty much. So everybody started playing for themselves. Kyle Kuzma is hurt. Brandon Eagle shut down for the season. Lonzo Ball shut down for the season. But like I say, um, it's more of a team thing, man. Like I say. The Lakers were already average when Le LeBron James were playing. They they was like the fourth best team in the West. They was the fourth seed in the West. But like I say, I'm going to say it over and over again. It is no excuse to be losing to the Cleveland Cavaliers, the New York Knicks, the Memphis Grizzlies, the New Orleans Pelicans, the Atlanta Hawks, the Orlando Magic twice. It's no excuse. There is no excuses, man. But like I say, they they have a lack of shooting around them. They got a bunch of playmakers, but they have a lack of shooting. They lost another game. Uh, Mo Wagner <coughs> had a great game. Hit a couple of big shots in the game. He had a great game. Uh, Troy Williams was very, very good. A very good young player. After that, LeBron James chipped in his points, uh, like I said. Uh, KCP hit a couple of buckets. Uh, who else? Uh, Josh Hart hit a couple of step-back jump shots. Uh, but other than that, the Boston Celtics... <laughs> they looked at happy. Like I said, they were shaking each other's hand, high five, and Kyrie Irving just put out, put out, put uh had a uh, flat out L.A. late show that night on uh, Saturday night in uh, in L.A. Uh, he had thirty points, five assists, uh, seven rebounds. I'm not doing a lot of stuttering, guys. I got a little cold, so y'all bear with me. <laughs> uh, Marcus Morris came out hot. Uh, hit a couple of step back threes. A couple of step back jump shots, like I said. Marcus Morris was very good in the game. Scary Terry was very good. Uh, he he had a step back three on one of those plays uh, in the second quarter. <coughs> a tough, a tough, a tough jump shot over Josh Hart when Josh Hart was pressuring him. Uh, Al Horford come out, scored the fourth, first six points of the game. They were elbow jump shots. Uh, Aaron Baines hit a couple of hook shots. I've been very impressed with him. Daniel Tice is very very good, <coughs> but like I say. I still think Boston will go to the NBA Finals. I think this team will turn it on when it comes to playoff time. I cannot count this team out. Kyrie Irving, who just put on a legit show. First quarter, it was 25-24. It was a, a tight first quarter. Jalen Brown had a big dunk over the middle, uh, cutting across the lane. Jason Table, Jason, oh, man, how you talking about speed? Jason Tatum uh, hitting him on the cut up the middle. Jalen Brown with a huge ton of hot dunk. Uh, cutting across the <coughs> middle, and uh, like I said, uh, Scary Terry came coming in, providing a spark. Um, Al Horford was very, very good, rebounding the ball, dribbling the ball up court. How about that play by Kyrie Irving when he goes behind the back and uh, he shoots a little left-handed layup on the other side of the basket? <coughs> and then there was one play when he crossed the hell out of JaVale McGee. He hesitated, went to the basket, five Marcus Smart, who hits a three in the corner. Marcus Smart come out in the third quarter, his three big threes. Like I say, the defense was very, very good for Boston. Like I say, that's still my team to beat in the East. 
Uh, the only per team who can knock them out is pretty much Toronto with Kawhi Leonard. Uh, Boston struggles at uh, Toronto. So, like I said, <coughs> Boston is still a good team, man. I still got. I still think Boston will be the front runner in the East to go to the uh, NBA Finals. Like I say, they look look uh, rejuvenated. They look great. Their spirit was great. They was up having fun on the bench. Kyrie Irving led the troops. Uh, like I say, I really liked the, what I saw Saturday night from Boston. Even though uh, the Lakers had Kyle Kuzma out, they had Lonzo Ball out, they had Ingram out, they had Stevens, Stevenson out, LeBron was on a minutes restricted. <coughs> They 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 showed me very very good. They they showed me they uh they showed me Boston showed me they was pretty much back man. Like I say, Kyrie Irving who had a field day who put on a damn late show. It was very good to see Kyrie Irving do that lad do that uh, on Saturday night. So like I said, uh Boston uh they would still be in the thick of things in the Eastern Conference. They they are my pick to go to the East West to the uh, NBA Finals unless I'm proven wrong. But like I said, I enjoy what I seen in Boston uh, Saturday night. And the Lakers, they got some work to do in the offseason. They got to get a big star, man. They might not get Anthony Davis because the Pelicans might not trade Anthony Davis to the Lakers. They wouldn't do it during the trade deadline, so I don't think they would try to do it now, uh, try to do it during the offseason. And probably another reason why they held out because Boston do have assets they can trade away for Anthony Davis, even though Anthony Davis don't want to go to Boston. But like I say, not Boston can get into the mix now. They can uh, convince, uh, uh, like I say, Anthony Davis. They can convince Anthony Davis to uh, come and Kyrie Irving to stay. Kyrie Irving to stay. So like I said, man, um, let's get right into the team stat. I just got some uh, news. Um, Fowler has uh, re-signed a new deal with the uh, say, uh, Los Angeles Rams. Dante Fowler. I'm gonna make a video up on that. Uh, first first quarter score was 25 to 24 Boston. Second quarter Boston picked it up. Uh, 20, 32 to 23. 23 Lakers got back in it a little bit in the second quarter, started getting momentum. But Boston at the end of the second quarter turned it, turned it on. Uh, with uh Kyrie Irving big shot creating three and Marcus Morris three point play and. 36 points by Boston in the third quarter. That's what Kyrie turned it on and had his field day. 36 to 29, 27 to uh, 30, 31 uh, LA in the first, in the second quarter, in the fourth quarter. Uh, 52 percent from the field for Boston. They were hot all night making threes. Uh, 71 percent from free throw line. 36 percent from three. Uh, Kyrie Irving was like five for seven from three. Uh, uh, 32 assists. Great ball ball movement by Boston. Uh, here come. Uh, 43 rebounds. Uh, Lakers 47 percent from the field, 77 percent from the free throw line, 18 percent couldn't make a soul outside. Uh, 28 assists, 43 rebounds. Kyrie Irving 30 points, seven uh, rebounds and five assists. Jason Tatum didn't have a good night, six points. Uh, Marcus Morris had a good night. Shoots a, a little mid range. Uh, shoots a couple of mid range step backs in a little fade away. Was very very good. The big three point play in the end of the first half was very very good. That put them up ten points and they were able to run away with it. And uh, Marcus Morris sixteen points, four assists and seven rebounds. Um, Al Horford uh, ten four and eight. Jalen Brown eight points. Gordon Hay was very very good. Efficient fifteen points. He's getting back to his old self. Scary Terry ten points off the bench. Um, uh, Marcus Smart sixteen points, Aaron Baines seven points, and like I say, the late the uh, Boston Celtics put on the legit show the other night. They ran off in the second half of this game. Uh, Kyrie Irving uh, uh went off um uh, on L A. So like I say, great spirit by uh Boston, ready to come to play against a Lakers team who's already up out of it. LeBron James got a minutes restriction, and they Magic Johnson and Rob Pelinka, they got a lot of work to do. So, like I said, man, appreciate all the love and the support. Comment, like, and subscribe on this video. The Boston Celtics beat the uh, LA Lakers Saturday night, one twenty to one hundred seven. Comment, like, and subscribe. What you guys think about the game? Like I say, I still got Boston going to the NBA Finals. I'm not changing my pick. Thank you guys. Much love. I'm out. Peace. Go Rockets.